Hey everyone, in this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to create a beautiful water ripple effect in Blender using nothing but shaders. Let's jump in. We'll start simple, just a plane and a rock placed at the center, which is where a ripple will originate. For the sky, I'm using a stylized world shader I built in a previous video. If you're curious about how to create skies like this, definitely check out that after this one. So, as I mentioned earlier, I want to create a ripple that starts off right at the center and moves outwards. To begin, add a glass BSDF and connect it to the material output. This gives a nice, reflective base that mimics water. Now, let me walk you through the base ripple concept before we build it. We'll use a bump node to add surface detail. For the bump's height input, we'll use a gradient texture connected to a color ramp, like this. Take a look at the color ramp. I've adjusted the sliders to create a narrow gradient band. This band gives a sharp transition, which will act as the core of our ripple. When you move this band, you can already see the illusion of motion, and that's a key idea. We'll use this logic to create a ripple by creating concentric circles that expand outwards and plug that into the height map. Alright, let's take a look at how each of the texture nodes look like. If we plug these into a vector node length, we'll be able to create corresponding gradients. When we plug in the object node into the vector length, we can see it looks like a radial gradient which can be easily tweaked for our purposes using a color ramp. Now, let's plug this into the color ramp we made earlier and there we go, we already have a base ripple. As you can see, we can easily move it outwards too. We can test it out by plugging it into the bump map to see if it works exactly as intended. At this point, I took the color ramp values a bit to get the exact ripple I wanted. Visualizing it through the ramp also helps out a lot. To animate the ripple, I used a map range node, super handy to control how fast and how far the ripple travels over time. The ripple looked great, but the water felt too still. So let's add a touch of life. I added a noise texture into another bump node to create gentle surface movements. Then I blended this with our ripple bump using a mix node set to vector mode.
to animate the water flow, just add a mapping node and animate the location values over time. Keep the mix factor low so the ripple remains the star of the show. And that's it, a super simple and elegant way to create animated water ripples in Blender. When I tried to figure this out myself, I couldn't find an easy solution, so I hope this helps you to save some time and spark some new ideas. If you found this helpful, please leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more stylized animation breakdowns and Blender tips. Thanks for watching.